Hello, everybody. Welcome to Transcend with NNG, where I am your host, Brittany Walker, also known as New Nation Goddess. Happy Wealth and Wellness Wednesday. We just wrapped up Black History Month for 2023, and this is the first day of March. So happy Women's History Month. I know there's going to be a lot of things going on talking about all the great women in history and what they've done to trailblaze and pave a way for all of us other ladies that are coming up and defining our purposes. So with today's episode, we are going to wrap up the eight frequencies of elevation by discussing the eight frequency, which is authentic elevation. That's pretty much your authentic activation. You've received all of this amazing information during seasons one and two, um, talking about the other seven frequencies of elevation. But once you've learned all of those different wellnesses and those different frequencies, frequencies that is going to help you transcend to your best self. We're also needing to learn how to maintain our peace in order to operate at our highest self. Also understanding that you are in full control of your life and your actions. The power is yours. So again, happy Wealth and Wellness Wednesday, guys. You know, I always like to kick off with an I am power statement. I representing inspiration, A representing affirmations, and M representing manifestations. So the I am power statement for today is I am becoming exactly who I am meant to be and will not allow anything to hinder me on this journey of life. Ashe. We also like to follow up with a book resource because reading is fundamental. It is important. It was something that was taken away from us back in the times that our ancestors were living, back when enslaved people were still walking around. And when I say enslaved, I'm referring to what we talk about with actual black history and not modern day (laughs) enslaved people, because we do actually have slavery still going on, whether you want to believe it or not, through capitalism, different corporations and things of that sort. But the book for today we're going to talk about is Becoming by Michelle Obama. Now, typically, I don't really talk about politics and I don't get into that subject on our podcast. But becoming is such a great story to align with the theme that we're talking about today, becoming your best self, discovering who you are. Now that you know what your purpose is, how you can make yourself better, now you go through your journey of becoming. No matter how old you are, whether you're a teenager, whether you're in your 60s, you still have time to unlearn and relearn positive habits and conditions that will catapult you into becoming truly free and not also just financially free, but free of your spirit, your mind, your soul, and being able to make decisions for yourself and doing what's best for you to maintain your peace. Also with wealth building and achieving optimal wellness. All right, guys, we also like to discuss what tea we're drinking for today. It is the first day of our cycle apologize if that's too much but hey menstruation is a taboo and it's something we should talk about because it's things that women have to deal with every single month so i do have some of this amazing be easy wellness tea by be wellness teas um you can actually go to our website at ngconsulting.org and uh, shop with our partners and be able to pick some of this up but it has all the Great herbs that the body needs, especially for womb health, to assist us through uterine health issues, infertility, endometriosis, PCOS, um, even dysmenorrhea, which is just heavy menstrual cramps, or menorrhagia, which is heavy menstrual cycles, which are two diagnoses that I used to suffer with that I no longer suffer with anymore. So these herbs include raspberry leaf, nettle, alfalfa, red clover, rose hips, licorice root, chamomile, ginger, rubius, and sage. So very good for the body. I also added some additional ginger in there with some turmeric and cinnamon because those are things that I like to consume on a daily basis that has been um, detrimental in my journey of becoming my best self and healing my body and freeing it of chemicals and toxins that can hinder my mind and hinder my health so that I am not able to proceed. But I will progress and I will be great. So this is why I drink these things. So cheers to you all. For those of you who are on YouTube or Spotify, you can see the video. If not, you're hearing this in audio, so I do apologize if you hear me swallowing. But let's go ahead and move forward for today, guys. So again, we listened to the eight frequencies of elevation. We talked to so many amazing people throughout this season. Let's talk about 
episode two where we talked to Dr. Ashley Wade with defining our purpose and figuring out what is it that we're supposed to be doing in this journey? What is it that we're supposed to be doing with our lives? Knowing exactly what you're meant to do, how are you going to be healing people? How are you going to be serving? How are you going to be educating? How are you going to be resolving problems and not just becoming rich and buying all these materialistic things and showing off on social media what you're doing with the money, but how are you really going to make this economy more sustainable and better for the underrepresented? Again, guys, we literally advocate for the underrepresented, which are people of color, melanin people, um, indigenous people, black, however you want to consider, but of a melanin descent. Um, and then women, LGBTQ+, I am all three, so those are very dear to me. Also veterans, I am associated with a veteran, and I have many veterans in my family, so that is very important to me, and also individuals with disabilities, because I am a former person with disabilities, but I wanted to continue helping those who have not been able to reverse their uh, disabilities or those that have disabilities that can't be reversed, but that are looked at and considered that they're being underestimated or they can't accomplish what they're meant to do in this specific lifetime. Nothing will hinder us. Nothing will stop us in becoming who we're meant to be. All right. So loved all the gems that Ashley was able to drop for us. Then moving on to our next frequency, we were able to discuss metaphysical methods. So practices that we can do to manifest the life that we want with Aaron Walker with higher alignment. So many amazing gems were given in that episode. So many different practices and things that you can actually begin working on today to make a difference. It takes about 30 days to form a habit. So guys, you can start right now March 1st that means by the end of this month March 31st you will already have been able to form a consistent positive habit we also talked to coach Simba when we were discussing optimal wellness that was the third frequency of elevation how to lose unwanted weight for a better wellness although he is a plant-based and vegan weight loss coach he is helping you to achieve your goals no matter what your current diet is or what your current lifestyle is. We just want to do what's better. Both Coach Simba and myself have been over 200 pounds. We know what it's like to consistently live in an environment where certain foods are present all the time that are not the best for us with all the carcinogens. We might be in food deserts where we might not have accessibility to great resources that are applicable for us to achieve all the optimal nutrients and whole nutrients that our bodies need on a daily basis. So again, that episode had so much vital information that will assist you in your specific weight loss journey. You have to remember obesity is a very big thing in the United States. And I know that we should not body shame or we should not be ashamed of if we are considered overweight, as I put up my quotation mark fingers, or obese or morbidly obese. But we also have to be mindful that, okay, yeah, you're thick with your thighs and your hips and your ass. Yeah, we like to have those things, there's nothing wrong with that, but you also can be mindful of what you're putting into your body so that you're not obtaining visceral stubborn stomach fat. That type of fat will lead to chronic illnesses because it's building up mucus in the body, it's clogging up your arteries. We want to ensure that we're being healthy on the inside and the outside, that we like the way that we look on the outside and we're not ashamed of that, but that we're also giving our body what it needs so that we don't get hindered with the chronic illnesses that are attacking our culture, such as cancer, chronic illness, I'm sorry, cancer, heart disease, stroke, diabetes, things of that sort. Then moving on to our next frequency of elevation, we were talking about environmental awareness. We were able to talk to Patrick Brown with Infinity and the Brown Family's Farm, also known as um, doing business as the Connect Group LLC. He was able to buy back his ancestors' land and create sustainable agriculture for his community. And he is a consultant and can teach you how to do the same. He also has amazing products through Hempfinity because hemp is an amazing, 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 amazing crop that can be utilized for so many different things. It can create paper. It can create fuel and gas. It can create clothes. It is something that we consume that is really great for heart health and brain health so things to consider guys also um, moving on to our next frequency we did talk about knowledge acquisition knowledge is 
power. It is so important for you to learn from reputable resources and learn from individuals who have paved the way for us, for us to know how are we going to thrive in the positions that we're in now in this present day in the United States economy. All right, guys. Shout out to Derek Moultrie of the Black Equity Network and the Acquisitions Network. He is fam for us. And that was an amazing episode, guys. You have to go check it out and how to properly acquire your knowledge. So accepting the power that is within, you have what it takes to be who you're meant to be. You just have to tap into that. All right, guys. Moving forward to our sixth frequency of elevation, it was financial competency. We were able to meet with Jacint Wamala from um, Jacint Gems, also from Wamala and Wellness University. She was able to pay off $90,000 of debt within three years. You heard that correctly, $90,000 in debt. So being able to bring financial literacy into the community, being able to teach us how to minimalize and how to budget correctly and how to shift our minds in order to let go of this rich mentality. We mentioned earlier, materialistic things, showing off where we're traveling, showing off what we have going on. There's nothing wrong with taking care of yourself. There's nothing wrong with rewarding yourself. But Doing it in a strategic way that's not only going to set your family up for success for generations to come, but also to be able to get what you want and need all while serving who you're meant to serve is the route that we're trying to educate and advocate for. And then our seventh frequency of elevation, which was our most recent episode, was with Jalen Gordon from Afrocentric University. Shout out to entrepreneurs who are wanting to be activists and who are wanting to build their communities. This is an amazing episode because we talk about community and culture building, what that's like to build your community, what that's like to have social synergy and be able to connect and network with like-minded individuals. And then, of course, our final frequency, again, is what we're talking about today, authentic activation. We are wanting you to definitely tap into all of those episodes, all of those different eight frequencies of elevation so you can thoroughly Take all of that information in and channel that into figuring out what is it that you're supposed to be doing in this lifetime. It's nothing wrong with having a hustle. It's nothing wrong with making money. But is your company or is your business containing, I'm sorry, is your business contributing to sustainable development goals? Are we making a better economy for the underrepresented? And if not, You could still keep that business if it's making you money, but it could be leveraged to help invest in a business that will contribute to sustainable development so that you can be your most successful. All right, guys, we also want to talk about taking back your power, manifesting your peace, not allowing fear to hinder you, not allowing worry to hinder you. Again, these are emotions, so they are natural, but we also have to be able to take back our power because these are things that we create in our head, fear. You have the option to not have fear or to have fear in your life. So what are you going to do to remove the unwanted distractions, to remove the invaluable distractions? Are you making a legitimate plan so you're not scrolling on social media all day? Are you making a legitimate plan so you're not wasting time indulging in streaming TV shows all day? Are you making time to really devote to your vision and your brand and what it is that you want to do instead of going to happy hour every weekend? Or you want to say no to going to the party or hanging out with the friends, but then you're peer pressured into doing so. You want to go ahead and remove yourself from maybe communicating with certain people in your family or close friends that have been there for you and you have the years and certain support, but they're still toxic and negative and they're not going to be able to understand your journey. These are things that once you reach this specific frequency, that we are giving you the encouragement that you have the power within to put your foot down and put yourself and your purpose first. It is going to take some sacrificing. It is going to take some not being as present as you were in present time. And I'm sorry, in previous times, but it's going to be worth it. Nothing is overnight success. That's something we have to remember. You don't have overnight success. Real hard work takes time. It takes patience. When you have an amazing plan, do you just want it to all fall together and then just be perfect? It doesn't work like that. You have to manifest thoroughly. You have to plan properly. You have to rest, rejuvenate, 
then recalibrate to come back to the drawing board because there are going to be plenty of no's. You're going to experience plenty of failures. But it's how you handle those no's and those failures. Are you just going to give up because you feel like oh, things just keep happening to me, so I'm just going to just throw it out the door? Absolutely not. The same energy that brings fear into your life is the same energy that brings success. So align yourself with high vibrational thinkers, high vibrational people, people that have great energy that's going to pour greatness into you instead of drain you with their negativity and toxicity. So overcoming fear is what we want to end this season with. We want to end the season with you knowing how to become, again, the book reference, who you are. We want to end the season with knowing how to properly maintain your peace. How to properly get rid of the things that are hindering you. To be able to recognize those things. To be able to get out of the denial of the things that you know you need to change. Or the shit that's continually hindering you, but you still choose to invite those energies and those things into your life. It's time, guys. The time is now. We need you in this world. We need your visions. We need your innovations. We need your leadership. We need your advocacy. We need you to serve us, to heal us, and to educate us. Don't be afraid of what you have been blessed with with your gifts. Don't be afraid of the skills and the opportunities that have been presented to you to take on those things. Don't be afraid to say no to opportunities. You don't have to say yes to everything. Everything is not meant for you. Some things are a test. Some things are just energy leeches. So you want to be mindful of being able to discern what's right for you and what's going to catapult you into your future of you becoming who you're meant to be in this lifetime. This is going to be a short episode, guys. I just wanted to recap for the season. We had an amazing season two. We're so excited about season three. We will be launching season three on the first Wednesday in May, guys. So let's see here. May 3rd, to be exact, we'll be back in a couple of months to bring you some more additional information that's going to be educational that's going to be nourishing that's going to be substantial that's going to help you really become who you're meant to be we want to help you tr transcend that is the whole purpose of this podcast if you have any questions or concerns or if there's anything you want to even review from the previous seasons feel free to definitely respond to this episode you can comment to this episode or you can even email us the information will be in the description of this episode but it is info at nngconsulting.org that's n is in new n is in nation g is in god is consulting.org all right guys so to recap we had an amazing season two we went through the eight frequencies of elevation which is going to help you to become free to help you wealth build and to help you achieve optimal health wellness we want to make sure that you like this episode be sure to subscribe to our youtube channel or follow us on any of the platforms that our podcast is showing on so we have apple we have spotify we have anchor we have google Podcasts, we have amazon music and again on youtube and then we want to make sure that you also have an amazing rest of the day. We're manifesting a positive, productive, and peaceful day, week, month, remainder of the year, and journey. Again, guys, we'll be back in a couple of months, and we cannot wait to hit the ground running. Be sure to also go to our website at nngconsulting.org to subscribe to us to keep up with the latest news resources and events we are actually starting a book club shout out to the analog dope store in las vegas it is the only black owned bookstore currently operating in las vegas nevada but we are launching amplify black lit on i'm sorry in the month of march so subscribe to us so you can keep up with either coming in person on the last week of each month 
or virtually you can tap in no matter where you are in the world, where you are in um, the United States. Shout out to our global listeners. We're in multiple continents and countries now, so you will be able to tap in as well. So subscribe to us so you can keep up with us talking about what book we're reading for that month and how that's going to benefit us and what theme does that align with us. We want to amplify black literature. We want to amplify melanin authors and writers. We want to amplify black history. Black History 365. Fuck these 28 measly days that you give us in February. 29 every leap year, every four years or so. But we want to talk about our history and the history that we are all um, creating in present day. So definitely tap into that and be able to subscribe to us so you can keep up with what all we have going on we have multiple workshops and events coming up we send out a monthly newsletter on the first of each month that has so many different resources that's going to help you with entrepreneurship with financial literacy with achieving optimal wellness and just overall becoming your best self so again guys we look forward to talking to you really soon and we hope that you have an amazing rest of the day Peace.